Welcome back to another episode of the Weekly DLC. I'm one of your host, Kroos, joined always by my co-host, co-host Daniel Vargas. He's the Grinch. And Daniel Jang. Baby, it's cold outside. And boy, is it cold outside. It's a merry, merry Christmas indeed at the Weekly DLC studio. Uh, fans are outside, like the Today Show right now. They're like, hey, Al Roker, Roper. Just dangling our balls from, the, from our Ooh. heads to our toes, getting a little cold. Um, if you're not familiar with what we do, we come to you every week. Uh, it's podcasting services of your choice. And uh, we come to you on Monday, usually. Um, and today, of the day this will be dropping, will be Christmas Eve. Mm-hmm. So we're Santa's little elves and Grinch over here. <laughs> 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 Doesn't wear any Christmas attire. <laughs> it's all under. Because the Grinch is like naked most times. <laughs> <laughs> His heart grew five <laughs> times that day. Um, but yeah, we, we, we have some nerdy talks, usually uh, video games, comics, movies, everything in between. And we, we each pick a topic and we have some fun. We hope you have some fun. And we hope you have a very uh, happy holiday. And with that, guys, how have you been? Good. What I, have uh, you been up to? <laughs> Did a few things. Uh, friends from Tennessee came down, uh, ate at a one of my most favorite sushi spots called Sugarfish in L.A. Um, and then watched Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Ooh. Highly recommend <laughs> that movie to everyone. Everyone. Uh, really enjoyable movie. Um, what else did I do? I bought more games. I bought like the... What'd hum- you get? I bought the Humble Bundle. Hu- Humble Bundle. Bumblebee. Um, <laughs> Tuna. The uh, the subscription one, 12 bucks, and right now it came with um, uh, uh, Just Cause 4, Ooh. the double XL edition, which is, I'm assuming, all the content. Um, the Wizards one, the one where, like, you, you're a wizard and you make your own spells and you're running around like a roguelike. Your brother was playing it. Oh, the yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Wizards of the Waverly Place. Yeah. Um, mm. And then uh, there was one more that's also... Oh, ca- uh, Project Cars 2. Okay. Uh, Have you played any of those? So that's for 12 bucks. I have not played a single one. Probably okay. won't play them for a while. Uh, and then at the end of the month, I'm going to get more games. Those are all unknown until literally... You can no, no longer subscribe. They release all the games. Oh, f- through the home... I thought yeah. you were f- through some other reason. Oh, no, no, because no. there's a game coming out. No. Even, okay. Um... What else? I remember what. Oh, uh, my cat, dude! I took my cat to the vet and spent a lot of money um, to get his issue fixed. Yeah, he's fine. I mean, he's at home right now, heavily sedated. He's like, bro. I I had to like shove a pill down his throat, and then shove liquid down his throat. That's how you get addicted to drugs. (laughs) I heard. And then. uh, uh, for at least for the next six days, he can only eat like wet food or something soft. Ooh, essentially, <laughs> someone likes to get wet. <laughs> Baby, it's cold outside. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, that was it. I mean, this is a lot of money. Oh, so when I took him to the vet, like when he, you know, your animal, your pet gets nervous in like new new environment. So he was like shedding hair like Ooh. crazy. And is that I like a normal cat thing when they're nervous? I, I mean, I assume so. Like okay. he doesn't. I mean, actually, he sheds hairs regardless. Um, okay. But uh, I've gotten used to it to an extent where I don't get like a stuffy nose or anything. But yeah, this was overwhelmingly um, overpowering me, and like <laughs> I have a stuffy nose for the rest of the day. So Damn. you might hear me snuffle, snuff, snuffle. Stop the cocaine, snuffleupagus. <laughs> It's not the cocaine that I did just before the podcast. Cocaine. No. Cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Jang, what are you about to? Uh, damn, I didn't watch anything. I was supposed to watch Black Christmas or Black Museum. What is it called? Black Museum. Black Museum. <laughs> um, but you watched Stranger Things instead. No. <laughs> Resident Evil 2. The you playing? Yes. Good game. Controls, yeah. controls suck, but... Why should you do? There was a scene where it was like an elevator shaft. Oh, yeah, I think yeah, it was yeah, the yeah, other yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Man, those camera angles. I can see though what they they were trying to go for a cinematic feel, where it's like, oh, let's get an angle like this, and if you get, but man, controlling that, I would have been like, I'm over this. Uh, the fact that you powered through that, the fact that people did power through that. <laughs> I want to like 100 percent it, 
Yeah. And it's hard. It's hard to do. Like, How do you 100%? Is it so, like, you, there's items, like, special items. Like, the infinite rocket launcher is the, the main one you want to get. You beat the game under two and a half hours with less than six saves, no healing items. Like, it's, it's, it's tough. But it's, I think it's doable. <sighs> so. And here we talked about whether he's going to be playing Wolfenstein or, or, or Doom. <laughs> I found out that Resident Evil 2 is coming out in January, so the remake. So you're going to 100% that? or it Depends. I had to look at what the trophy is. If it's not impossible, I will. Online yeah. trophies. There isn't any. I time, don't think so. Time trials. I think, there are, I think there are time, time yeah. events. Um, that's pretty much it. The stream. Um, so I want to, like, I plan on streaming for a long time. So I kind of want to adopt... The Nightmare Before Christmas streams. So from October will be scary games, and then November and December we continue to scary games, and it's just going to be called the Nightmare Before Christmas streams. So I want to implement that, because damn scary games, I love, I love. That's pretty cool. I like that. And then some Smash unlocked all the characters. Oh, you did? I don't think I'm going to master the game. I don't want to. It's just a time-consuming thing. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. But. It's only fun if you play against people. Like just play. <laughs> so then I'm not gonna play it online because no. I mean, well, I mean, like when b- before, like dinner time. <coughs> Online's broken, it's which gotten, I expected. It's but. gotten a little better from what I've heard with the patch, but yeah, I still I haven't really de- tried it out. So <coughs> that's it. Okay. Um, before I get started, I had Santa wanted me to relay a little something to you guys. I forgot. It it was next week. I didn't forget. I didn't even know this was going to be a thing. It's called Christmas, and Santa didn't <laughs> want to forget about it. Christmas in July. You got to remember, I'm the Grinch, dude. Ooh. You it's a book. Well, I hope your heart grows four times more. I like the, the gift wrap. If you guys can't see it, it's uh, Harry Potter. Where, like uh, Mine chibi isn't st- Harry. Chibi style. Because well, I, c- I knew felt. that it was you were allergic to... <laughs> so it's a hardcover book. Go for it. Mine's a soft cover book. No, go for mm. it. Wait, is it is yours is yours a soft cover book? Yeah. I think it's um yeah. the Kotaku guy's book. That's too Makes big. So. Oh <laughs> hey, hey, that's big. what she said. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna look I'm gonna look at the side. Just okay, let's see. Red. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Sneaker. Oh I know what it is. Because he's not gonna Finish the goddamn books. Thank you, man. Hey, nice. I know what this is. Hey. The starting point. He wants me to start my own business. This is Targaryen. The so th- there's a two part to this. One part is that there's a second part um, where it covers his later years. Oh. And Ooh. so if you're interested, I feel like this would be. The starting point. If so this is a Hayao Miyazaki starting point from 1979 to 1996. You know what's funny? Because I was gonna give you guys gifts, and I was went to a spot, and I saw the perfect gift for you, and I forgot it was this podcast. But you will get it <laughs> next week. <Yeah. laughs> I want to see your reaction. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh man! <laughs> I'm terrified. Yeah, I hope you guys like it. Happy, yeah, dude. Thank uh, you. Happy holidays. Thank Merry you, Christmas. man. You know what's funny is I. I don't see. I don't not do. I know, I know. But like, I had I had planned to get you guys something, but I was like, I don't like. I don't want to get that weird situation where they're gonna think they need to get me something too. I don't. I and never have that. So if if I ever get you something, don't ever feel the same. I don't like remember <coughs> what the hell I was like. I, there was something I saw. I was like, that's perfect, and I never ended up picking it up. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I everyone uh, sp- spend I spend time with and stuff, and I was like, oh, I, I, I want to get something little for you guys. I thought nice, you guys would appreciate. You. So right. with that, we can uh, end the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Santa. Reading later. Yeah. <laughs> Take a book. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, besides a little Christmas shopping, I'm, I think I'm done. I just need a wrap. Uh, so we're going to start a bebop. Can you get a <laughs> <laughs> um, Got him. I, uh, Friday, watched Into the, Into the Spider-Verse and... God damn, that Hell movie yeah. was amazing. Like, I went in, I was like, Katie, I want to see Spider-Man. Can we make it like a date night? And she's like, you don't want to see Wreck-It Ralph? I'm mm-hmm. like, if I have to pick, 
I really want to see Spider. You you made a good decision, dude. And I I know we'll enjoy uh, Wreck It Ralph whether we s- I see it in theaters or we see it in theaters or I just wait. But I was like, just seeing the trailers and the animation style that was so unique to Spider Verse, I was like, I want to see this in a theater, and I was not disappointed. The only thing I was disappointed we saw it in like the theater I've gone to before. You saw Godzilla with me, I think. In oh yeah, yeah, the one nearby me. Um, the sound I wish was stronger in the theater. Like it felt like it wasn't full impact, and oh there wow. were parts where I was like, I can feel this is the part where it's gonna like engross me. But you should you should watch it in the uh, what is it the, the Dolby? Dolby Atmos? Yes. Yeah, dude. So I'm hoping my cousin. So my family's coming to town, and I was like, usually one of the things we end up doing is we all like let's all go see a yeah. movie, and I could see us seeing Aquaman just because it's like a big party mm-hmm. thing. But I'm like, if they haven't seen Spider Verse. I think my cousin and my brother are going to love it, and I'm totally down to watch it again. Because there's just so many little <coughs> nods to things that you're just like, damn, so much attention to detail, <laughs> so much. Like, the humor is so good. Like, it never feels like it's in your face or force. The storytelling to me was, like, I feel like we're, like when, once you've seen it, Jang, I want to do a full review, but, like, with spoilers and everything, but it just felt like it was aware how many Spider-Man movies have been around. Mm. And how many have been done? Like this year, we got two, literally, in the same year. And this did something fresh with it. And I love that about it. Um, did, the they, did they take a jab at Venom? The actually, Venom movie? No, no, I don't think so. I'm not un- Unless I missed something. They took a jab at some other stuff that was, I thought, really funny. Yeah. Um, DC? I don't think so. I think they, they made fun of themselves yeah, pretty much. Yeah, there's a lot mm. of self-referential re- stuff, but the voice cast was phenomenal. Like, I knew Nick Cage was going to be in it, but I did know some of the other casts, like Lee Schreiber voices Kingpin. Oh, shit. Um, dude, that Kingpin's a beast. He was just like a mass. He like he does shockwaves, dude. We're like, what the fuck? Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> um, they had some surprises that I was really, like... It wasn't just for shock value. It really added something to the story, and I want to just see this universe grow. So it like, it, yeah. You know what's crazy? Like, I remember watching the trailer for it, and it didn't entice me to watch it. But like, the reviews are enticing me to watch it. Like, I don't know if you guys remember the trailer. The trailer was not good. I remember <laughs> the first trailer, yeah. and I love the animation style. But I was like, I don't know if I'm like, I don't know what they're gonna do with the story. Like, it just was like flashy images. Cool. Okay. Kind of got me interested, but it, unless it has some substance to it, nothing. And I remember, I think there was a second version of that trailer where they just gave a little bit more, and it was to him and Peter seeing each other in a subway. And I was like, oh, if they go the right way with this, and I didn't think they would, I was like, they could have something on their hands. And they went in that direction. I was like, yes, fucking good. Um, so I saw that. I've been playing Smash. I put my Switch out there. I just got the 8-bit dough, like, adapter so I can play with my game controller wireless. Yeah, that little purple knob thing. Um, I just tried it before the podcast, and it's pretty responsive. Like, I didn't have any noticeable... I mean, I'm not playing at a pro level, right, but... Right. But you didn't feel like there was a lag or no, anything? No, not at all. Like, I was just going through spirits, and I was just like, yeah, this is responsive. It was more me adjusting to remembering how to play on game okay. controller. Um, because some of the nuances, I was like, man, I'm so used to the pro now that I'm, I was like, I have to adjust back to this. But yeah. I miss the GameCube control. I was like, this is such a good design. Um, and it holds up still. All I know is my thumbs would hurt. I think it was the C stick? No. Yeah? I feel like it's the ridges, depending on on the, the gray stick. Uh, you know what I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of the N64. That fucker, yeah. like, burned <laughs> that burned holes in palms, yeah. Um, so I've been playing Smash a little bit, but mostly Destiny, actually. Um, I'm at, uh, I've been working on my light. I just kind of, what was my goal? I wanted to, um, I wanted to do the forge. Have well, you, you haven't successfully? I have. You have, okay. I did the first forge. And, and there's a total of four forges? And they're, they're so there's slowly four, being released? So the fourth one, I guess, just got leaked. Okay. Like people data mined and said there's going to be a fourth one and yeah. this is what the, some of it might be. There's three released. Third one got released like this week. Yeah. And um, it's very much the same. It's just instead of Different the locations. first one being Cabal, the second one became Vex. and the th- Or no, the second one became Fallen. I don't know. I think it's like Vex, Fallen. Then probably High of the Last One or whatever. The yeah, 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 it could yeah. be. Could be. Um, it's, it's just an, it, like matchmaking is convenient, but at the same time it's not because you're like, what are you doing? 
what are you doing? I think that's a big thing. Like in the very first Destiny, people are like, we got to have matchmaking. But like you got to understand, like when you're doing endgame content, it's not going to be enjoyable when you do this this matchmaking. You're going to get casuals that are just going to be like, yeah, the first time or like I still haven't learned after the fifth time, you wow. know, and, it's, and, and it gets frustrating. Like I t- went in every time I m- got matchmade, I would go and look immediately at what their power levels were. And that was the first indicator. I'm like, oh, they're trying to get carried. Or like me, they were just trying to like get paired with two people that knew. And more often than not, I would get paired with lower people. And then finally I got some higher people, and I was surprised, like what you're saying. I was like, great, this should be easy. We got the power. Then nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's sit on. Yeah, let's sit. Watch your I it's on your It blows it away again. <laughs> we're good. Okay. Um, they didn't know what they were doing. Like they were like extreme. The like thing is, they they'd save their their super abilities, and when the final boss shows up, there's a shield it has, and you have to destroy these little dots around uh, him so before you can damage. And you just see him spam their thing. I'm like, no, you gotta shoot the dots. And I'm like, you just waste your supers. Like that was it. And so it's annoying stuff like that. But. Uh, I've just been chipping away at little like things I've been trying to do on, on Destiny. A quick question. So when I did the Forge, before they updated it to be like supposedly easier, um, you would have 30 seconds to get orbs and hit, throw it at the Forge. 45 to 30. But, it, it but every time you throw another one, it adds like a few seconds. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't feel that way. But like, I mean, we only, like I would toss two and that was it like yeah. for the whole thing. So then it was like immediately ended. I'm like, how the fuck do you have enough time for this shit? Yeah, it gets but annoying. You're, you're wasting so much time trying to kill these buff. There's up. times where you or your teammates will focus on non-essential ad, like ads, and you're like, "What?" Wasted too much time. Yeah. Um. So what else? Uh, I've been playing Pokemon Go. PVP is in it now, so I've been battling with people, friends. Um, Did you ever do that? Um, you want to do like a contest with your co? That's gonna be in January, and I'm realizing, like, I was talking. Today I left, so I there's a new like legendary boss, and I f- I found out it's fairly easy to do with just two f- phones. Normally these raids require upwards of four, five, six average players. Um, s- so most time people are like, oh, there's not enough of us. I'm like, I'm really into the whole like, what's the minimum you need if you pick the right stuff at the right powers and stuff, and figuring that out and being able to succeed, even though it might take a little longer. And I found out that uh, some of the pro people are have been able to do uh, um, this with two ac- two people, just one another person, at a fairly easy point. Like anyone could get use these. It's not like a hot, like you have to spend a lot of investment. And I was like, I want to like share this with with some of the friends I had at, 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 uh, in my work area. It baffled me how little people understood. Like I'd be like, use ground type. And they're like, okay, ride on Gollum. But I'm like, seeing them using like rock moves. I'm like, no, <coughs> ground moves. Not just a ground type Pokemon, but a ground type move. The move is what's doing it. Yeah. And I'm like, do we not understand what super effective and not super effective is? <laughs> and like, I'm trying to ed- like t- show that. Yeah. But like, not be like frustrated. But it's frustrating because I'm I'm explaining it, and then after I've explained it, I feel like okay, we we I think we've. <laughs> clarify things to help like everyone. I'm like, this is to make it so you can find raids easier, so you don't feel limited or whatever. because a lot of time it's hard to coordinate. Yeah. And I was I left work and they were all trying to coordinate, or not all of them, a few of them were trying to coordinate, and it was like a shit show. I was like, why is this so difficult? Ah! I wish I, like I part of me wishes I was there. I was like, no, <laughs> it's giving me st- uh, it's so stressful. <laughs> um, and I think that's uh, yeah. Getting ready for Christmas. Nice. It's going to be a fun time of year. I'm feeling festive. Keep you wore your bra, so. <laughs> My corset. No, it's, it's <laughs> no it's nips. Out there. No nips. <laughs> Two candy canes. <laughs> uh, do you guys want to get on topic? Uh, yes. sh- I guess. Fine. <laughs> After you've done pinching your nips. <laughs> we can start with mine. Okay. Um, Go for it. So there's... Um, News about uh, people suing Fortnite for stealing dances, stealing their dances specifically. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel like this is something that technology has enabled, something that technology has brought up 
um, that normally wouldn't be an issue. Like with, I mean, with without gaming, at least specifically Fortnite being so big, which I would consider part, being part of technology, um, I don't think this issue would have happened uh, where someone was getting sued for their for the for the dances. Like no game was getting this big. Like there are other games that have dances, specifically the Carlton. There are other games that have this dance in it. Um, and, you know, like, it's, <clears throat> they were just never big enough to be, like, warrant, I guess, you know, like, hey, they, they've taken this, and I need, you know, to get, but yeah, Fortnite just, like, keeps breaking these bars and these levels, these heights. Uh, so I was thinking, like, what other, um, what, like, for future, what do you think, what are other things that'll, um, that you think people could be sued for in regards to uh, being taken that like, was like their property essentially um, that that possibly like technology enabled or or it could be like something just like in the future like as time goes on like with VR or anything else that we're that's what we're gonna see could be taken um, and stolen and, and made profit off of. Do you want to go or do you want me to go? So, <laughs> you, I thought that. Fortnite was paying for these dances. I found out, not recently, but later that they were not paying for these dances. Um, I think, see, it gets weird because, like, for example, like the default dance is a, it's a Scrubs dance, right? But that dance is done by Turk. From Scrubs. It's yeah. from Scrubs. Um, that dance isn't his dance, if you know what I mean. That's a, um, I forgot what the, the show. No, the style of dancing. I forgot oh, what he it's took called. It from yeah, he took it from something else. So it gets kind of weird where these ownerships of dances come from. Like Carlton, he said that he stole stole that dance from Courtney Cox. Well, he stole it from two individuals. He, he stole right. like two similar dances and mel <coughs> mel 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 meshed it into one. Oh, yeah. And he says it's essentially like what he would assume a white person would dance as. Someone who who can't essentially dance would be dancing as. Um, on the flip side, though, like Jet Li was almost in the Matrix. The reason why he decided not to be in the Matrix was they were digitally recording his moves and copywriting them. Oh, and he's like, you know what, I'm out. And he was like saying, these are moves that I've studied years and years for, and for the movie studio to like put in a copyright for that, that's not fair. And that's why he's like, you know what, I'm not doing the movie. That's so smart I feel, on his part. so I feel like whoever created those dances are owed because just from Jet Li's example they are owed compensation because dances the thing is like dancing has always been a thing and I remember reading that like essentially dances can't be copyrighted um, it, it, it's got to get very very specific um, but with like a quick excerpt like like the way these dances are um, I don't <coughs> think it's it's never been an issue before but I think that again, this is something technology is bringing up where we can now use that effort to. Because to you have a point. Because if someone did the moonwalk and if it was copyrighted, you would have to pay money yeah. to do the moonwalk. Yeah, but like if you put that into a whole dance, like if it's just a part of that, you can't copy just that point in the dance. You have to copyright the entirety of a dance, you know. But now with 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 technology, with like you know everything, we just we we take intake something so small now that these things can be considered now. You know, um, but this is, you know, it, like, the guy who does the Carlton dance. He specifically is one, was one of of many who are suing Fortnite. L I think this is going to be like a huge point in in law where like it's going to you know obviously dictate the future and and what's going to happen. And and to be honest with you, like if this, it might take a while, but like once this is settled, it can also affect future uh, Fortnite's future. Like mm -hmm. there are going to be so many dances removed. If if they don't want to pay or they're just gonna pay, so I have two things. I think one of the you mentioned like because of Fortnite's popularity mm -hmm. is the reason it's the issue. I think that has a big contributing factor. I think the other factor <coughs> is in a lot of other games. Like I, one of the ones that uh, or one of the one of a friend of the show Sam and I were talking about was World of Warcraft, the Tunic Tunic dance and the the uh, um, Napoleon Dynamite dance. Yeah. They're in it. You're not mm. paying for that though. It's just a part of the game. Like, it's just, okay, you can do it. And I don't know whether there was anything behind the scenes like you were saying with this where you thought they were being paid or not. I don't know about that, but you're not paying for that to add that dance to get that dance. Right. 
in this case, you're buying dances. Mm -hmm. You're just actively like, I want that. I want the Scrubs dance. I want the Carlton right. dance. And so I think that's a little bit more direct than that. Maybe with other games, it's also more tricky because you're not getting the dance. You're getting a chance at getting that dance. So whether that, I don't know if this will trickle down to those sorts of games, but that was one of the things that was like, I wonder it's if that's why this is such yeah, a big thing. Yeah, because this is like a very pinpoint, like, subject because of the fact that these dances are being paid for. It's not just something that's included in the entirety of a game. Um, but I, I believe Doom has the Carlton dance. Mm -hmm. and like a you're not, like But a you're not like paying for it, right? Right, right. Yeah, like that's just that comes yeah. in as part Destiny of the thing. Destiny had it. Yeah. I remember the first Destiny, you could do the Carlton dance. They have the Shia LaBeouf mm -hmm. thing. They have John Cena's and thing. And with Destiny specifically, like you can get it for free or you can pay for it depending on how you're How not lucky or unlucky you are. Yeah, so you're not spending like money on it, but it's like you're going through three extra steps to get it. So you can either get bright dust, which is stuff you get from um, transferring, dismantling things that you may have bought or got through the game. But it's like you you could get the currency to allow you to get. I don't know. It's yeah. weird. It gets weirder. But I feel like Fortnite is very direct, and that might be one of the things. I was looking at something that Freddie Wong, the like he's a YouTuber, um, he shared, and it was an IP lawyer. Yeah. And he shared a point that I just want to go over just like a quick thing of. He's like, basically, copyright is designed to cover anything that can be taken down in a written medium. For example, in the U.S., even architectural works can be copywritten. In this instance, pantomimes and choreographic works are also covered under the U.S. copyright law. Okay. So it is pretty clear that the dance moves are covered under U.S. copyright law. Whether they should be is a different question. Last thing, he goes on for a while, but l uh, the last thing I'll cover is, as to whether Fortnite infringes on Carlton's dance depends on a number of other questions. At first glance, though, I think that Carlton would likely win over Fortnite, so that so these cases will likely be settled out of court if mm. Fortnite's lawyers are on point, which they likely are. This guy, um, he's a he was a, a user on Reddit, so um, I'll... See if I can. You're find good, but like the the, 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 the end point that you just made, um, my working my assumption on being better is this separate the user. My assumption on on the where he says like the the if Fortnite layers on are on point, I'm assuming that if this becomes, uh, like a huge trial that goes like the Supreme Court and the stuff Floss like that. The Floss Kid is also yeah yeah doing something. Yeah. And so is a, there's a rapper I forget his name. He had a move. Uh, is it Mick Mills? It's like two milli. Yeah, oh yeah that's true. Anyway, anyway, so, um, so if I'm assuming that if this goes like public and like it goes to the Supreme Court, the decision that's made there becomes a, a decision. I'm assuming that works with everyone because that's people can take that as a reference and being like this happened, so this is works for everyone. But if it's if it's settled outside of court and never and it gets just go to like that. it never gets that, so then they can continue doing it and they only have to worry about the people that will will actually sue. Um, I think though they'll they'll change what they do going forward. More than likely, yeah. But thinking of other things that could, like, to your question of, like, what else could be affected by this, um, I know, I forget what the, the app or the technology was, but it's, like, where if you take a bunch of pictures of someone and then put it together, it, ma it maps their face, on, and then you could just artificially recreate oh, yeah, faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget what it was called, but there's, like, a subreddit about it. Um, Obama. <laughs> Obama. There was a bunch of people, like, a lot of people used it for, like, adult stuff, but... <laughs> Uh, also mm. using it for like oh, oh just getting people yeah, to say stuff. I remember you can put someone like you enjoy in an adult. Film. Yeah, just if you have a bunch of shots. Yeah, I remember what you're talking about. Um, but it's scary because I've seen ones where it's like Obama and other stuff just like talking, and you're like, that's freaky. Like that he that's him. But I th I feel like a person's just image. Like I feel like taking photos publicly. That could easily start becoming like I don't want that. Like, and how would you block that? Like. Hmm. I don't know, it's crazy. We'd get like glasses that like give You're thinking of white Black Christmas? Christmas? <laughs> like a little aura that just blocks everything. So That's that when scary. you take a picture, you can choose like you can like have a friends list and only these people that take pictures of you, it shows your face. Everyone else it's just a blurred picture when they take a picture. I think memes would get stolen, I guess. I don't know if those can be copyrighted. Like I can see memes people like, like What like are those? Was in Black Panther. I don't know if he got paid. The victory kid. He she finally comes in to collect. He's yeah. like you guys have been Meme it on me. Yeah. Maybe. Um, I don't know. So something that, that Fortnite's also starting to do is weapon skins. And this isn't new to Fortnite. This isn't new to, to the to gaming in general. Um, but I think like specific specific points in, in like skins it can become a, a thing. Like right now the what they have is 
um, Christmas wrapping packaging. So you can make your you can make your weapon look like it's wrapped in a pre- like in in like uh, look like a present essentially. I think patterns like because there's the who's gonna pattern it though? There's or the old school that. pattern. There's the who the, the cup or whatever. What what's the? I don't know what pattern that is. But I'm I'm Stussy? Saying, who would it go to? Like who controls that? Well, it depends. I mean, like I if feel it's like old school stuff. I feel like that's just so far out. Like you see movies now that are like beyond a certain age. Yeah, it's free domain. But there's the the soda cup um, uh, pattern that's fi- very famous. Uh, a guy named uh, Fuck Jerry or something like that, or. or well, I know who you're talking. I yeah, know the he, artist. he uses that. I don't. He uses that that em, that like design as his logo, um, okay. and I believe it's pandit. I believe that specific design is pandit, um, okay. and that's something you can easily throw in. Like I'm just saying, like with wrapping presents, um, I feel like someone could find like a, a very simple design and be like, I want that. that I want that like pandit. And then whenever someone s- buys it, mm. he makes it maybe penny is off the dollar, but it's still money in you yeah. know, that's incoming. And it, when something like this happens, it, it might not be well known, but all of a sudden, like this guy will come out of nowhere and be like, "Hey, you know, I I own that design. You guys are using it, you know." And like I feel like that's something that could come up in the future. I'm trying to his designs patterns. <laughs> it's cold outside. <laughs> um. I think your your fa- face recognition is that something I thought of like that's that's much much more personal and like that is much more freaky too. But it's cool. I'll live in the computer world, so it doesn't matter. I mean, people are <coughs> using stream clips, putting into their own YouTube channel, and making money off of other yeah. people. I, th- I think that's a big point. Is like when what when do you decipher when like is this a new piece of content? Based on basing like commentary or whatever overlaying on existing content, I think like as a whole, just like streaming, there might be even more legal things of like I you're making money by playing like someone watching you play content. I know Nintendo has really drawn lines in the past, at least with like you want to be a Nintendo streamer and like monetize stuff, you got to like go through eight hoops, nine hoops, you know. Yeah, you, you had to be signed up to their program, but I think they're, they've they removed it. But I think for now, games have been like, this is g- easy press for us, but I think there could be a point where that turns and they're like, no, mm-hmm. it's a privilege to be one of our streamers. Like, they could they could enlist, like, their top-tier streamers where they get that early s- <laughs> access to stream. Remember Persona 5? Yeah. yeah they're, the like, limited. They're, like, Everyone. Fir- first three chapters and then you can't stream anymore or something. But, I mean, like, imagine... I don't know. I guess it's already sort of a thing because ju- press and journalists do this too, where they get early copies of games. I, I feel like you're that idea of games uh, like that's. I don't know. I, it's it's a possibility, but I I don't think I think the odds of it not happening are, are greater. Um, Good. I just I remember like there's a few times where I think of the internet what it what it was like over ten years ago, like e bombs, new guns, all that stuff. And it's so much more constrained and restricted now. And, like, the thought of pirating something is not as easy as it used to be. Yeah. And it's, like, just, like, I'm not saying it's it's encouraged, but it used to be just, like, that ah, is no problem. Like, just cover your ass and you'll be fine. Like, li- down, use LimeWire to download LimeWire Premium. <laughs> Boom. Done. But, like, now you're, like, no. My pr- service provider and, like, eight other sites are tracking me right now. Every move I make. So I imagine similar sort of, like, Focus will be put in how to monetize, how to market, how to do this in other realms. I mean, video games can be fun. Gotcha. But I wonder what else. Hmm. An idea. <laughs> An idea will be patented. I mean, yeah, I it's already intellectual property. Yeah, but like, I mean, it has to be ri- like the concept has to be put down on paper for it to be patented. Like, you have to have like. Right. Like a blueprint or something like that, um, but I feel like at some point we're gonna have like we'll be able to record thoughts, you know, and it, and it, it'll just be literally a recording of something, and I think those will soon be patented as well. Like it won't be you won't just jot something on paper. Like you could literally record your mind, like a like a like a small video. Like you're just like, uh, what if like this? And you know how you visualize things that gets recorded, and you can just archive that essentially. Delete. <laughs> Internet history. <laughs> Control alt. Them Delete. cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Munchies. Hey, Cookie Monster. Cool. 
Next, scary. next topic. So uh, I wanted to bring in a Christmas topic since this is going to be released is the day before outside? Christmas. Maybe. Did you bring a mistletoe? I'm, I'm cold. So uh, if you guys can, uh, for all the Christmas movies out there, make a sequel for one of them. <laughs> Which one would it be? And how would you pitch it? It's funny, dude, because like I'm thinking of like the Christmas story, but Christmas story has a part two that went straight to DVD as well. It did? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it did. It did. <laughs> so it's like what? Make a part three. I mean Die Hard has Die Hard Two already. Like there's already a lot of Die Hards. <laughs> die Harder. <laughs> Old habits die. Do you have one? I do. I, I, I have ha- a couple, but like the pitching part is hard for me. Get the ball rolling. I, okay, I, so for those that don't know, we got this topic really late. In this <laughs> really <laughs> so late. Um, we're we're thinking through this live. I want to see it with us. Nightmare Before Christmas Part Two, but I don't know how I would pitch I it. I know how. It would. You right. know those other trees? Okay. We can finally see those other trees. The so like there's like an Easter one. Yeah, there's Easter. There's a test of and us. I can just imagine because he's like always like he kind of shrugs off the issues. <laughs> so it'd be like, dude, you fucked Christmas up. He's like. Uh, we can do. We can try Easter now, you know. And he'll just like everyone's like, no, we just messed up everything else. He's like, it'll be different this time. And then it'll be the exact or, same issue again. Or instead of him going in those doors, something happens when he came comes back, and those doors come into his area. Or they're all messing with messing messing with his shit. They'll come in like you fucked up Christmas. You can't fuck us up <laughs> if we fuck you up first. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it's gotta have the music. <laughs> People forget how important music is. Like oh in movies, yeah. Like it's sound effects, music, very important. Spider Man Into the Spider Verse reminded me of how n- great chore- coordinated music is. With I always forget how important music is in YouTube videos. It's fucking important. Very and if important. you sync it up right, it's the best. Dude, I'm a horrible okay, so person because I can't think of any Christmas movies. Uh, I'll, I mean, I I'll, shoot, I'll shoot another one. I'll shoot another, one. I'll I'll shoot another one. Toys R Us, but during Christmas. So there's new, new toys. Toys R Us? No. Nope. Have you ever? <laughs> <laughs> Toy Story. <laughs> Toy Story. Okay. But it's not a Christmas movie. I know it's not a Christmas You were right. You're fucking <laughs> 80s. You said Christmas movies with All sequels. right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. John Wick. <laughs> that's the case. <laughs> that also has sequels. What the hell, dude? It can have sequels. No. It so can't have I any. can't believe you didn't say Turbo Man 2. Tur- Jingle All the Way 2 happened. So, so yeah, that's why. We're no, 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 no. I'm trying to think of what if direction I think they of, could take it If in. I think of a movie, I immediately already know that there's a sequel to it, so I can't use that movie. And no, now my list is I, dying. I can't. Yeah. I would do one. How would Turbo Man work? So you would redo Turbo Man 2 then, is what you're saying? No, uh, you could do Turbo Man 3 and ignore Turbo Man 2. That Ooh, happens all the time. Hey. You're not ignoring it by, by the Turbo fact Man that you're making 3. Igno- it, Turbo Man 2 ignores Turbo... Like, d- Jingle All the Way 2 ignores Jingle All the Way 1. Right, but Completely. the fact that you're making As a number 3 means that you're not ignoring number 2. I'm moving on. You're not moving, but you're not ignoring it, though. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Story-wise, I'm ignoring <laughs> it. Okay, perfect. Are we good? Okay. Thanks, producer. Um, what would I do with... Ernest Goes... <laughs> <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> the Ernest does goes to, er, er, goes to the North Christmas. Pole, part two. I don't Ernest know. Saves Christmas. No, I'm thinking of... Oh, no, no, no. I would do the, the, the those animated ones where it's like, I'm Mr. Freeze Miser. I'm Mr. Snow. <laughs> like those style. I would bring one of those back. The claymation. Yeah, and oh, you know it what? would be a sequel where it's like people have forgotten them. Ah, it would it, it would get a little like that, but not too much. And it would be like someone, maybe not modern, but like just someone that's like one of the kids a little bit older, like a few years older, um, and uh, re- revisiting him and reminding. I mean, like the trope is just reminding him. I fucking have it. Epiphany. So this. Kurt, I kind of talked about it already. Oh, this yeah. Kurt Russell movie, every, they should do this every year. <laughs> but instead of this, those same, like, whatever the kids were, fuck, like, forget that. Like, that was this movie. The next movie should be someone else who's, like, having a hard time, rem- like, continuing to believe in Christmas or, you know, enjoying Christmas. And something happens where he tangles up or he, she tangles up with uh, Kurt Russell Santa and, like, 
they go on an adventure. It'd be like a, it'd be like how Doctor Who does Christmas specials almost. Yeah, I think that'd be fun. <sighs> trying to think of other ones. What other Christmas movies are there? Gremlins. Okay. Yeah. Let's do a pr- let's do a prequel. The origin of the Mowgli's. <laughs> with, with the a- young Asian dude. You're changing up your, your topic. Oh, but I got an idea. Let's get on. It's not a sequel. It's not a pre. Uh, it sort of is a prequel, but it's a different story. I want to go into the story of how Marv and <laughs> the Wet Bandits, how they met, <laughs> and I want them to have met through like having a nice Christmas together somehow. Like they had shitty lives. They've been doing whatever, and like on Christmas Day or Eve or something, they get into some like they they get tangled up together. They hate it, but they find that they have a friendship. And even though there's like shitty people as a you know together, they 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 have it together. And and it maybe it was like but it's it was it was a necessary evil for them to save them from like darker. It could be sweet. It could be like you know what I like Mar- like those those two guys. I think it could be really endearing. Home Alone, the late I don't know. There's like four or five. One? Yeah, six. Danny DeVito as Michaela Culkin. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> I so dropped my Magnum <laughs> Cond. <laughs> so they're like he did. Uh, I think it's Google sponsored, but he did. Yeah, like, I he, saw he redid one. Like really? The whole original? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like shots. Like the, the, the famous shots Culkin. as oh. him as already oh. older. Yeah. It's him now, but he's talking to like his Google <laughs> Home assistant thing. Yeah. I saw it. I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> I was gonna say, damn, Danny DeVito. So I've got, I've got two, and I stuck with like the fact that these don't already have sequels. But the Grinch, the one with uh, there's I, sequels. Adam Sandler, or was Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Jim I meant. Carrey. Um, that doesn't have a sequel though. That one specifically. So I would do a number two. What would it be? Um, it would be him relapsing back <laughs> Relapse. to being the Grinch. His heart breaks and like it just shows the original really tiny pea-sized heart. And then um, I haven't thought this through. So you're just remaking the first, <laughs> and then it leads like, <laughs> everything that happened in the first, and one, it leads all the way back again. into the first <laughs> one, <laughs> where it's just the uh, the one specific lady just trying to bone the Grinch. Hmm. What's her face? The um, I don't know what her name was. Yeah, I remember what you're talking about. <laughs> and then th- there's um, uh, there's the cartoon, or it's an it's a it's like a claymation or whatever, or stop motion. The Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Mm. Mm. Part two on that one too. Oh, I don't know how it would go because the first one they go to Mifit, Misfits Island, mm-hmm. and I'm assuming he, they need that because they need toys because they lose all the toys. So in the second one, Santa somehow becomes incapacitated and they have to deliver the toys for him. Mm. Mm. But uh. I thought I I thought from the topic we were just gonna name out things and not try to make a movie out no, of you're it. You're making movies. Damn. IP right here, patent all this shit. <sighs> Game of Thrones, make a part two. <laughs> just one that actually ends. That'd be the story. Damn, Damn shots fired. <laughs> Finish to go. <laughs> <laughs> trying to think of more. I think that's all I got. That's I'm tapped out. Has there ever been like a Christmas like show? White Christmas? Mm. No. There's been Christmas episodes, not sh- oh. show. Okay. Ca- this might be more of an original idea or like a spi- like a parody. I would have... Black Mirror's White Christmas. The, oh, God. <laughs> I mean, it's coming out on Christmas. I'm sure they have a <laughs> Christmas episode. <laughs> Fuck. Um, I would have a show in, th- in the stylings of The Office, but it, it's Santa's workshop. Oh, Ooh. shit. And Santa's like Michael Scott. <laughs> He's just awkward. And Parkour. Just <laughs> Everyone say come. Everyone say come. <laughs> and he keeps like just yeah, he's super awkward, just like in the same humor as as uh, Michael Scott, and then all we'll the just elves. Have uh, what's his name? Carell be Santa. And yeah, Steve Carell let's is do dead. It. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. Oh wait, no. Oh my God. You know. Even better, because those people went on to make Parks and Rec. Have par- Leslie know? Have all the cast of The Office and Parks and Rec come back and do this giant. North Pole show Damn. where Santa is played by Steve Carell and he's got the office crew working his elves 
and Leslie Nope is Mrs. Claus, and she's running the North Pole. She's like, you don't understand. When he's off gallivanting, like the year goes around, and we got to promote this stuff. So she's running like the the, the city hall parks and recreation side of things. We got a Ron Swanson who's just fucking. He's just like, I don't like. <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> it's like wood toys are the best toys. Oh uh, yeah, that'd be perfect. <laughs> and Aziz is like, no, dude, you gotta get the finest like iPad, iPros. Treat Come yourself. <laughs> and then you have like a John Ralphio, like, I'm technically an elf. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, like I want that so bad. And it it could play all because what it would be would be, it's like mostly the Parks and Rec show throughout the year, but when and then the holiday comes it's in, the office. The office people are like, it's our show, and the, the, the it'd be like tension and stuff. Hundred <laughs> percent. I mean, I that's yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. On to the next. On to the next. And with the next, you know, twenty eighteen is coming to a close. We'll see you next time. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> it is hot. I put all this shit on when I got I was at home, and I put the hat on. And it felt like that was where the heat was dissipating from, and then it was just capped. I was like, oh, I'm sweating, melting. I'm very cold right now. Whew, feels good. <laughs> feels good, man. I'm taking it all Ooh, off. It's cold, huh? It's cold, huh? <laughs> little, little nippy. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, anyway, back to the point. <laughs> um, Your 2018. Mm -hmm. We're we're coming to the to the final few weeks of it, mm. and uh, I kind of wanted to go over what I know we did uh, game awards and the best of the game awards and what they had nominated. But I kind of wanted to go over maybe not necessarily like what um, is our definitive best of, but just like what it what was your best of just favorite things like best things that of the year like best movie you you watched best. Game you watch, uh, best game you played, best you know whatever. If you just want to go through a few, um, shout out anything. I think I kind of want to talk about Spider Man again. See, that's the thing. Mm. Like, so I know I've seen good movies this year, and I know I've seen movies where I was like, dude, holy shit, this was like such a good fucking movie, and I can't, I can't remember a single Spider -Man. one. Spider Man. And that's the thing. It's so fresh in my mind. Like, I, I can easily say Spider-Man. I just feel like that's cheating, and that's I don't want to use that answer. Mm. Um, How do <laughs> it is within this year. I, I, I just want to remember something different. I don't want to say something you're going to say, because I know you're going to say Spider-Man. I'm going to say Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> um, that is tied for my favorite movie of the year with Creed 2. It, hit me, Creed. it hit me on, on points that felt new and fresh. While being familiar, mm -hmm. and I think much like what we talked about with a remake and a reboot and a sequel and all this stuff, I, that's that's what I like. I feel like it's taking what we know and, and reinventing it and taking it in a direction that is uncharted. And I like that. Um, they take like we can go. I want it. I can't wait to go into a lot of like the spoiler stuff because that's where it gets into really interesting. I'll, I'll take this a route that I, I, don't, I feel like E.T. won't take it um, for anime since I've been watching anime. Mm. Um, there is a series called The Time I Reincarnated as a Slime. Okay. I would say top 2018 anime right there. Mm. Highly recommend it to you guys if you guys Where did you watch it, it on Funimation? Uh, I've Crunchy been watching it on Crunchyroll. Okay. Yeah, new episodes up. I haven't watched it yet, but... Uh, it's still it's a, it's an ongoing series okay. right now. It hasn't like been out for a while, so it's like it's on its eleventh, I think, episode right now. Um, but yeah, really enjoyable one. Movies I didn't watch a lot, but I can't believe this movie came out in twenty eighteen. Wakanda Forever. Black I was Panther. just thinking about that. BP. That for me gets like best potential for for like f like I still go back to what I think of what it could have been, and. I like it for that. I like it for having that in world building. So, props to it. And it's crazy that like I was listening to some people talk about this, and it's a. Gr it's, I think it's a great point. In one year, we got Black Panther and Miles Morales, and these are two, like just two great. Like just kid kids can just be like, you know, that's cool for me. Like also for Avengers. Yeah, Avengers came, came out this year. Incredibles two came out this year. Deadpool two, Red uh, Ready Player One. Ugh. Tomb Raider. Um, biggest disappointment. <laughs> greatest movie of all time. Pacific Rim 2, greatest movie of all time. Um, oh, 
shit. Isle of Dogs. Isle of Dogs came that's in my, 2018. That's my third favorite movie. See, that's what I'm Holy saying. Like, I don't remember these movies, but I remember watching them and being like, you remember this is such a great movie. Upgrade came out 2018. Yeah, I remember you, so you That was about really fucking good, too. See, like, and I don't remember it. <laughs> Rampage came out 2018. <laughs> I watched it. <laughs> Actually, I did watch that movie. Holy shit. So, yeah, it's probably going to be... Creed 2, I think, is my number one. Spider-Man, my number two. And um, Isle of Dogs, number three. As my so, this one might be... Uh, so, I'm going to go with uh, video games, Dead Cells. Ooh. The only thing is the game released... Oh, the early PC. access. Yeah, it was 2017. It's fine. But was it's released right. on Switch, which is where I played it. Yeah, it's like uh, Hollow Knight. Too. Yeah, they all released uh, 2018. So I would say that, and then paired with that, I would say The Messenger as well. Mm. Top two. That water. <laughs> Did Monster Hunter come out this year? The oh one for yeah. PS4? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's another one. That, that's, that's Fucking, maybe. like, it feels like so long ago, yeah, but goddamn. We played Red Dead, game. God of War. No, no one cares about those games. Hey, um, God of War. <laughs> Already won Game of the Year. It doesn't even matter. I don't got to mention it. Such <laughs> a good stuff. Yeah, it's, it's personal. So it's not personal. Don't feel like you got to like... everyone's okay. choice. Ooh, boy. And they won. My Game of the Year didn't come out in 2018. So st- I judge it by how addicted I was to the games. At the time. Yes. We two, talked two, about this. two games come to mind. Fortnite and Stardew Valley. I was really addicted to both. Like there was a good month I just played Fortnite. That's all I fucking played. And same thing with And with Stardew pretty much. But I, so yeah. Stardew is my game of the year. Twenty seventeen, I think. Did you play it on PC or Switch? Switch. Okay. I mean so Yeah, Switch came out twenty eighteen. Yeah. Yeah. So and you just got that like we mentioned, the the multiplayer. So that that's cool. Go back. Gotta go back. For games? It's about your crops. But I mean, honorable mention: Messenger, Dead Cells, Hollow Knight. God damn! Like the indie games just Killing tore it up. It. We had Red Dead, God of War, Lost in Tristan. Smash Bros. Ultimate. You didn't pl- <laughs> Smash Bros. <laughs> Wolfenstein too. <laughs> Stranger <laughs> Things too. <laughs> I know. Uh, for me, um, did so much happen this year? Holy shit! It doesn't feel like these things happen. Like it just like it just feels like it's a part of my life and it's within yeah some time and and the lifespan that I've lived so far. For games, <coughs> I'm gonna just talk it through. Messengers, top, somewhere in there. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to give a shout out to, but it's not on my top. Octopath Traveler, just because how much I played it. <laughs> Even if I don't I'm give a shit. I'm still looking for... I've been. I've always been a huge fan of, of like JRPGs or just like RPGs like that. Um, I, I just haven't found... A for good Switch? One. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, for Switch specifically. I have not found a good... R- like, I, I, da- I bought... Um, Do you like Xenoblade? Xenoblade? I haven't played it. And I, I don't think it's something I'm going to enjoy. I, I've watched streams. Same thing with uh, Dragon's Quest, the, the, the newest one. Oh, okay. Um, watch streams. It doesn't just... It's not... It doesn't... Catch. Hit that, yeah. you know, that itch I have. So the next Smash character is rumored to be Dragon Quest character. Yeah, I saw. I still feel like the Fortnite thing we talked about very c- would be, be like cool. would kill. Like people would buy a fuck ton up on the Dragon Quest character, the slime. Well, it's not the slime. Specifically the slime. It's not the slime. It, it could be the it could be an assist or or part of the stage. So for me, that's the most iconic thing the in slime? Dragon Quest because, <laughs> I, so I would I played it religiously on um, Game Boy Advance or uh, is it Game Boy Advance? DS? It wasn't the DS. Did I'm you pretty play sure the it was slime one. Yeah, yeah. The, so it was like uh, essentially like a like a monster farmer type thing where you would you would gather these these monsters and you would use these monsters to fight other monsters and you you would just like grow them up, like essentially or, or build them up, um, and it was called like. I don't remember what it was called. I still have the physical Did you do game. the boss fights where you, there was giant robots? Mm-mm. Okay, we're playing different games. There was one where it's like Dragon Quest is typically you're the heroes, 
This is Dragon Quest, but you're one of the slimes. It's like Rocket something. Yeah, or yeah. Something. Oh, yeah, not that one. And it what would happen whenever that. you're doing a boss fight is you would have a giant mech like a like a Megazord, and they would have one, and you would have to get materials to, to supply yours to fire at them while sabotaging theirs. So you would just like run across, and it was like pretty cool. This is the only Dragon Quest game besides Builders that I played. Going back to this year, Messenger, God of War. <sighs> Hollow Knight? Hollow Knight, yeah, I really, that game is beautiful. I don't give it enough attention uh, that it, I should. Dead Cells? Dead Cells is, shout out, just, I don't know, like, it hasn't clicked with me yet. I enjoy it. Like, everything about it is beautiful. I love what it does. But I haven't been engrossed with it the way Messenger and Hollow Knight have engrossed me. Um, but I appreciate it. I think the w- what I w- what you guys got from Dead Cells, I got from Into the Breach. Oh. That one's a good one. Mm. Um, that one's a good one. But I don't think it was Dragon Quest. Yeah. The thing is, it it's had probably the from the same makers. Yeah. It had the slime in there though. Yeah. It's in that world. It's not just the main series. Yeah. Um. Yeah. God of War. I, like I still think back to the story of it, and it just it felt epic. And one of the things that still blows my mind. I know other games have in this year have also been pushing the envelope, but. To not cut from game graphics to cutscene visuals and back, it was all the same. Seamless. Blows my mind. It's like Blizzard, get on that level. <laughs> like, can you imagine a day when a World of Warcraft cutscene is gameplay? Holy fuck! Like, <laughs> God of War is like, yeah, it's possible. But instead, you get a crazy ass cinematic, and then you get Fortnite graphics. <laughs> you get. <laughs> yeah. Um, that that impresses me and then the story impressed me because I've never been a really big like okay I'm like I'll play a demo of God of War just slash shit up okay cool um, but the story like it had it didn't feel like any beat of the story w- dropped that I can remember um, it all had a steady pace it all ha- meant was pushing something forward and yeah. it kept going and it felt concise like I don't know I appreciate that um, Messenger, just a beautiful game, great sound, great design. Underwater. Underwater is oh, superb. <laughs> the thing with the Messenger, the second half is, for me, the second half is not that good. It got, it got like, go it here was, all the way. It was, right. it was like a perfectly chiseled path. Yeah. And then like it opens up and it just, it fucks everything yeah. up. <laughs> like they didn't do a great job with like how you can kind of move everywhere. Um, it still holds up though. Um, I d- music, dude. There's there's Kanye West, Drake's out new album. Um, so yeah, like what was it? it's it's Ye or Ye? Yay. Um, is one I have to go with. And then I don't know the name of Drake's album. Scorpion. Scorpion or Scorpio? Oh yeah, Scorpion. That's one I have to go with too. Kid sees Ghost is my favorite album. <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> it's, it's just not up there for me, man. <laughs> two other games I gotta give a shout out to Tetris. Effect. effect and Destiny 2 Forsaken just because mm. I've just put so much time into it. Smash Brothers too. I mean, it doesn't like it's it's recent. I know we were, you were the way you were feeling with the movies, but it feels good to have a Smash on the Switch. Like po- yeah, Pokemon. Pokemon was a nice visit, but it, it wasn't like best of for me. It was like I have a personal place for me. Pokemon Go though, like I look at it two years ago, it was su- it was not even in, like it was shit. It was. Yeah, Shit. it was. It had pro- more problems than not. Now it has problems, but there's just. One of my friends was complaining about it. They're like, in we have a group chat, and they're like, there's just so many things to to focus on or t- or keep up with. And I'm like, I I can understand that, but to me, it's like you have options now. You don't have to focus on everything. If you just want to collect, collect. Yeah. If you want to raid, raid. If you want to battle, battle. If you want to like trade, find people to trade with. If you want to do all of it, good luck. But, like, yeah, it's a lot of stuff, and I like that it has that. Whereas before, it was just like, hey, this gym. Oh, it's full. Hey, this Pokemon. Oh, it's the same 800 Pidgeys <laughs> I've seen. And, oh, the game crashed. Okay. <laughs> now it just, it feel, it just it's such it, an evolution of the game, and I'm yeah. really curious where they take it. So props to them for that. That's all I have to say about games. That's all I got to say about that. About that. Um, TV. I know you watched a little bit. You watched Daredevil. Oh, yeah, very little. I'm trying to think of what I watched besides recent. Daredevil, I enjoyed. Sabrina was pretty good. Big Mouth is really high on my list. I that I fell in love with that show. 
Um, Castlevania caught me off guard. Westworld? I surprised, like, I know a lot of people on, at least in in articles and stuff, were hating on it, but I really like season two, Westworld. Did you, did you watch it? Or Holy no? shit. No, I haven't watched <laughs> I've, I've seen season one. Did you watch Stranger Things? I haven't <laughs> seen season two. <laughs> Mr. Robot, I enjoyed what they do. Altered Carbon was a nice surprise. Um, See, these, I don't even remember them. Like, I don't feel like they were 2018. <laughs> Monster, I, sorry, I'm going to go back to games again. Monster in a World. But just quality of life, Q O L running. It's so crazy <laughs> what it did to the franchise. <sighs> like they invested so much time into it. Now we're getting a, that's such an A plus game from them, and they're, they're getting, getting an expansion. Yeah, that like G Frozen yeah. wait or Frozen Iron race? something Born. Ice no Frozen Born isn't it? Or you think their next game know. is gonna be like a one point five or is it gonna be a brand new spanking? World 2. I think it's going to be like an ultimate 1.5. Right now, what's the title of the game? Monster in the World? It's going to be Monster in the World. Universe. <laughs> world. <laughs> With a Z. Simulation. Multiple. Simulation. Or, yeah, it, I don't know. They c- I Monster in the World U. What would they do to... Because now it's mainstream, I There's think. They could bring in way more monsters. I think Easy. it's going to be like different styles of hunts. For that, I think it's not just going to be like, "Hey, here's a four-person hunt. They'll, go do this." They'll bring the cat thing back, where you can be, you can play as a cat. Mm. Possibly. They, I don't know. I, I hope they don't make it tedious. I don't want egg quests. I want interesting hunts. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe there's like some crazy single player. I think egg quests could work, but you have Never. to, you have to add. Let the prowler do it. Like <laughs> if I could get a cat that could do that shit. I think they should have like yeah I'm I'm saying like change it up so like it's either you can you can now attack and actually like do stuff defend yourself while holding an egg or like you have your cat pick it up and you got to defend him like there's fucking shit going on you got to like like you know hit this monster Mm. until he like you know either gets dizzy so your cat can continue running to the mat yeah I feel like world is gonna last them maybe another year and then they'll announce too it'll be very much like destiny I think for them, where they're gonna big big. <coughs> this will be the big expansion to last them for however much longer, and then next year maybe at E three or something they'll tease show another Rathian. <laughs> <laughs> maybe something tied to the movie, because that's gonna come out. Yeah, and true. They have Tony Jaw in this fucking movie, so that's crazy. Tony Joskin armor, Monster Hunter Royale. <laughs> uh, I just you drop in as a Rajang. <laughs> I'm gonna watch the movie, but the fact that they are trying to merge real with like just the real world, just go with it. Or just go with it. Like, there's no reason to just have these characters. You, you, be you have in that this world much time it. now, from now to whenever it's made. Come to terms with that. No. It's happening. We all hate it. Let's let's en- let's enjoy the the good parts. <laughs> enjoy the ride. <laughs> yeah, like I'm, not, I'm not saying what I've seen is gonna make it a bad movie, but like just the concept of, I don't feel like there is a reason to have the real Earth involved in this whole thing. Like maybe the the producer. I'm trying to uh, see imagine what the producers' meeting was like. Like, so you got swords, okay? <laughs> you got arrows, huge, huge, huge. You got arrows, okay? He, he's like, where's the guns? Let's just bring in guns. He's like, wait, wait, wait. wait. You got a heavy. Bow gun? No, 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 bow gun. I want a real gun in there. Give me two of them, a light and a heavy. Done. Get the <laughs> army of them. Like, I feel like that's whoever the producer was. Yeah. Um, he's like, and then they're like, yeah, let's just, it'll be relatable. Just get people in there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, music? I didn't have too much. Uh, yeah, I, I think. Thank you, next. Best hour of TV for me was a night. Uh, 2017 episode of Black Mirror called San Junipero. Yes. And second would be yes. the Karen episode. I'm just kidding about that. <laughs> <laughs> I still think the Karen episode is pretty good. It's one of the better ones. I hated that episode. But San Junipero, 2017, bringing it in to 2018. Best of 2018. San Junipero, 2017. <laughs> 2017. Let's go. Well, the thing is, like. I, yeah, the, the 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 topic I see it as like moments in 2018, and he saw it in 2018. Sure. I kind of 
Daredevil is. I didn't watch a lot of shows. Daredevil was good. Um, kind of wish I saw Atlanta. Fuck the things that I, the snippets I've seen of Atlanta. That's the highest rated Metacritic show of 2018. 97. Still haven't watched it. But, dude, that's such a smart ass show, dude. (laughs) Donald Glover, dude. He's pretty smart. Oh, music. This is America came out this year. What the hell? This is America. Don't catch his leg, man. Don't catch him. Yeah, also, you know what else came out this year? Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I think 21. <laughs> <laughs> 21. How about the Baba Lava? How about the Baba Is that you getting lightning? How about the 21. It's time to tell him now. Every time I'm home, I'm home. How cool would that chiller have been if they just started saying, like, Mortal so Kombat? Someone actually made a YouTube video with the original. And it works out way better. It wasn't edited well, but uh, it was cool. It was cool. I mean, it would have been <laughs> fucking good. <laughs> I'm trying to think of other stuff this year. Books? Well, books. No, uh, trips. Tracks. Packs. Was a horrible trip. <laughs> it was. Because I got zero hoarding that one Hoarding streak. the fucking pitchforks of Fortnite. <laughs> Your fucking backpacks. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was referring to the street, the one street where... Oh, I don't feel like I was referring to sleeping and how I got none of it. McStabbies? I'm sorry. You guys made me sleep on the couch. (laughs) You said you didn't want to get off the couch. You're like, I'm good on the couch. Well, the thing is, like, I don't have an issue. I slept fine. (laughs) It just stopped you from I just heard (laughs) Karosh Vargas. Essentially, I guess I I will never forget the first night you're snoring. It was like a demon. I was dying. It was like a demon. <laughs> Marcus, are you dying? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, oh, fucking God. <laughs> Die. She just slept closer to him. On his side. Yeah, I wouldn't have sleep on your bed. <laughs> you were out cold. <laughs> it's bad positioning. Because <laughs> I remember. Yeah, like once I, you <laughs> rotated, you were fine. If I, I like, sleep on my side, the problem is like during the middle of the sleep, I'm going to just roll over. Like it's just going to happen. And then my body. I have the same like issue. If I start sleeping on my back, I'll start like making loud noises. But as long as I'm on my stomach or on my like side stomach, I don't think I ever get stuck on my back. I don't know. Yeah, the, the couch made it awkward yeah, to sleep does. sideways. But I get, like I would so m- I would rotate. I I know for sure I rotated because I would wake up like on my back. I'm like I didn't sleep that so way. So question about that. Do you have uh just uh a cat or a cat and dog in your room? In my room only the cat goes in it. Does the cat sleep on the bed? Yeah. So do you move a lot? No. Okay. At least I've noticed, I mean, we tried fostering the dog and I noticed it came up on the bed while I was like kind of laying down at one point. I'm like I twist and turn a lot and I'm like this is not going to work like if that happens in the future like how i i can't sleep not moving i will move a lot yeah i um i mean like if if i'm in a in like a i guess a comfortable thing i i just i sleep in the position i i, I slept in i wake up then so okay. i've had it to where my my cat sleeps on me mm. and i wake up with him still there okay so so yeah just a shitty couch <laughs> <laughs> it's a good room though overall McStabby's. We what was the <laughs> street? No, but what was just funny is like, I don't feel like I had an issue with anything. And then you read this <coughs> this review on a goddamn street. <laughs> and we walked through the street and immediately like things that you were just saying were coming to life. And I was like, but it was, it was how busy. is this even like, possible? Yeah, the, the Russian bakery was overrated, but it's Britney, bitch. Was the good. thing is, like, biscuit, we were walking. Biscuit, 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 bitch. bitch was good. It's Britney, bi- worth the wait. Oh. And he's like, I just love how they're that's like, listen, bitches, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> our shit comes with gravy. You can't just come in here and order no gravy. Like, it's funny. I've recommended it to two people now and they both have gone. They're like worth the wait. Yes. <laughs> yes. Worth yes. being yelled yes. at. Yes. <laughs> it was good. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Too bad we only had it once. Yeah, Next once time. was enough. Yeah. Like, no, I still remember it. Yeah. <laughs> that's the effect. Um, Pax was fun. Comic-Con was fun. I had, a f- I had a good time. Um, Terrible time. You, you didn't know what Wh- stopped to get off. Thing on. <laughs> <laughs> one thing that, that the only thing that messed messed it up was like how going there when like it's just completely empty cabin. Um, they're telling you like no, you can't take two two chairs. I'm like, there's no one else. Like no one's ever gonna come in. Just and then on nod, the take it off, put it back on. 
on the way back though, they did not enforce this when it's super packed, and I'm like uncomfortably like sitting next to like three other people in one chair. I'm like, because no one is apparently fucking moving their shit. Got us to get a step ahead of the game. God damn, it was just the most frustrating thing. That was the first time I played Fortnite. Was on that train. Mm. Save someone from not missing their <laughs> their their exit or whatever. Dude was getting drunk and like we just kept talking. He kept saying like this mic, this mic, like not this one, but yeah, he yeah. was saying the name of yeah, the exit. He, was he had cash money. <laughs> and I'm and like eventually like they're like blah, blah, blah. I'm like this guy's not not listening. And like halfway through being stopped at the exit, I'm like I'm like, I'm like uh, I think this is your exit. He's like, what is it? I'm like it's this. He's like, oh shit. He like grabs a list. <laughs> he was um he was saying he was like the own he was uh, Jeff Kaplan. <laughs> <laughs> he owned a booth for. A uh, anime, but like it's like the very skimpy mm. kind of <laughs> thing. Me undies. He had <laughs> he essentially one of his biggest things is he had those like mouse pads that had breasts, and you like lay your arm. Your, oh, gee, your, my your wrist. Or is it your wrist really, or is well, it something else? <laughs> <laughs> It's a flick of the wrist. I gotta say, my favorite inside joke of this year was amazing. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be Stranger Things that season two. That only happened in fucking in uh, PAX. PAX. Street. It Stranger Things. <laughs> it hurts. That one hurts a little bit. <laughs> that has to be an ongoing. I gotta we say have to not ever watch it, just so it becomes it stays an ongoing joke. Shirts. We can start merching. This is how we get copywritten. Stranger Things question mark? We just start making merch on Stranger Things. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Stranger Things season two? Um, I just know we used to always do the sunken place. <laughs> and then that season that two was season and one. And then season this is season. <laughs> what's what, what will season three bring? Man, I'm not ready for it. Whatever it is. You know what? So remember how I told you like we had a guest on the podcast and I, and I was like, <laughs> I sure we had it. When I was going through the episodes, there was legit five episodes all in a row where he his his intro like where you're like and this is my and my other coworker we all float down here <laughs> he said it in every single one and I'm like wait a minute am I re- listening to the same one and I'm like going back I'm like no this is a different episode this guy said it five times in a row. <laughs> Weird shit. I should <laughs> watch season three of the podcast. I'm gonna say a word, and you gotta listen to the whole podcast. No. And you'll say a big ass sentence. <laughs> never gonna give you never up. gonna watch On season two <laughs> of Stranger Things. <laughs> and I just be like, never. And then next week, no, it'll gonna. be one of those things where it's like, if you start the podcast at this time. Um, uh, if you start the podcast at this time on New Year's Eve, it'll say Stranger Things season two on New Year's at the time the <laughs> clock hits. <gives it. laughs> Be good. Um, yeah, I don't know what else. Is there any other best of? Comic book books. Not Maybe not yeah. a best of, but we went to Indicade. Oh. And there was a group of of uh, or there's like a, a whole developer called Next there. And they had a game that I played for a little bit. I didn't have too much time. Called Bladed. Oh yeah, yeah, Bladed yeah, 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 yeah. Like the fighting yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's on Steam now. I saw it today. Does it have frame rate issues? Uh, it doesn't seem like it does. <laughs> Damn. What would you say is? I know we talked about PAX and we talked about Comic Con. Um, what would you say your favorite like event or gathering like Indiecade? We went to the Octopath party launch party. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, just a f- like stuff like that. I am eight bit. We took the picture. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I don't think you're gonna remember any of the. Other I, no, ones. I didn't. I didn't <laughs> have <laughs> special. <laughs> the guest is with us too. See, the thing is, like, there are locations I'll go to where it seems like I'm having a good time, but internally I'm like hating Dying. everything. Yeah, like really? socially. Like, I just I'll be like, I don't know why I'm here. I don't like this much. And and that was one of them. The I, Yeah, I didn't have a good time there. What about after? Right. What would you do after? Onigri. We recorded in that arcade place. Oh yeah, that but was horrible too. Eighty. Uh, oh yeah, we went. We ate the thing. No, after that, I was fine because we were like away from that. That I don't know why. I just had that. You forgot one meeting. Scenario. Your second podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I, if it's okay to ask, what happened? You said you were going to start streaming. Probably not. Okay. Don't know though. Okay. 
It's up in the air. Yeah. Okay, okay. I think if I, even if I start, it's going to be like very lenient on time. I'm not going to be like every single sure, day sure. I need to do a certain amount. Uh, speaking of streaming, this is a good segue. Favorite streamer to watch? <sighs> That's a tough one, dude. That you enjoy? I think it's a mix. <laughs> okay, couple. No. Give, give a few. I can't. I can't say those. People. Like they're not. I've seen them even less now that I've been wa- like now that I I follow them. I don't watch them as much anymore. Um, who's someone I could just throw up? CD in the third and Summit One G. I want to be just like them. What is it about CD in the third that you enjoy? Humor. He's fun. I mean, he's raunchy, but to me, he's funny. Is it his? Okay. He's hilarious, oh. and he freestyle battles, and that's good. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, mine was Admiral Baru. What about him? I don't know. He's um. He d- he doesn't necessarily stream whatever he wants. He does choose games he wants to stream, and he has essentially like his his followers choose. So he's still playing what he wants. Um, but I I love his sense of humor. Um. There, there's times where I watch streamers and they'll do something where it's like, like why, why do you do it that way? Like why don't you do it the way I think it would work out? And it's like it's just dumb things. But uh, I don't have that feeling with Admiral. Like he, the way he plays, like I'm perfectly comfortable. Hmm. Um, he's done things like I can't. Like he's the reason I was playing um, uh, Slay the Spire. Mm, okay. Um, and dude, like I thought, like he, the reason I, I played it was like. He was playing. I'm like, dude, he's missing all these different things. Like, I could, I could do better. I played it, and like, I got past the first boss. Couldn't beat the second boss. And like, watching him now, he's beaten the whole game. Like, I guess every time you beat it, it gives you new cards to play it again. As he's done it like 57 times, and so he's gotten like every single card. And I'm like, obviously, he's doing something right. I mean, he's also like, he constantly plays it because he's streaming it. You mm. stream six hours, and he's just. I played it for like two hours and that was it, you know. Okay. But uh, really enjoyable uh, um, content that he makes. I gotta say, if I had, p- well, there's one that I've said I would say I'm consistently watching is Trihex. Oh yeah, I enjoy. It. I don't know what it is. It's just his conversational nature. He's very uh, knowledgeable. Yeah, like he'll drop in a lot of knowledge. He does sometimes a little too much, <laughs> but I mean, it, I understand. Like he's trying to share, he's trying to educate, and, and, and when you enjoy that, you you kind of are can get in, into it a lot. But I enjoy overall like his his me- his like pathos or his like message he has yeah. for his channel. Um, I like he, his uh, Yoshi Yoshi's Island. Yeah, th- that's how he started. When I remember uh, you mentioned it, and I was like, you know what, I'll try. And it was just comforting, so I would just have it on. And just occasionally glance over and be like, wow, that's so cool. And I just do whatever else I was doing, whether <laughs> it was a game or browsing. Or and I, I, he has a, uh, one of the con- uh, cameras on his controller, and it's just like an old Super Nintendo controller, but just, he's just like, bra, bra, just, I don't know. And then slowly I started seeing him when Smash came out. He was playing Smash um, and talking to people. And what he would do, which was cool, and, I, and this is where I, I feel like I could just leave it on and listen, was he would take people that are much newer in streaming and have a oh, conversation cool. with them while they're f- while but they would be just as good as him or skilled as him in whatever game let's say smash for instance it's like what is it about smash that like or no what is it about life that like what is the happiest you've been and then the person would also ask him questions and i was like oh this is fun like i like it that's cool so like subtle podcasting while he's streaming a game so i like that um other people i've like come and gone um, I kind of got over a lot of the high level Destiny streamers just because they, they get really into their own world. And I understand because that's they got to focus on that. But for me, that wasn't enjoyable. It's like it, it's sort of like when is, you is good. Thaling one of those. Yeah, he's been um, he's fun, but like he's just way involved in his own world, which is he's got a great thing. He's trying to focus on like the St. Jude's like Destiny, uh, the uh, Guardian Con, yeah, which started out as a Destiny convention, and now has become like sort of like we're just streamers trying to donate towards charity, and I think that's great. But like it involves getting yourself involved in so much of your own world, but like in an ecosystem and everything. And I'm like, okay, it's your thing, but it, watching you has changed. Right. And, um, I would have to say like upcoming people that I've been starting to watch um, is started with with uh, Disguised Toast. 
and then I realized that he lives in a streamer house, and so I'm and it's the same house that Pokimane uh, lives in. So I've been watching him and and Pokimane only because they'll sometimes each go into each other's stream. So then I'm okay. curious as to Dressed the as path that they're taking. The yeah. Frog. yeah, she did a thing where she was just like chilling and like she had like the makeup artist just making her look like Pepe the Frog. Yep. Apparently, why not? <laughs> Um, you, is there any specific YouTube channels you got really into? I mean, there's ones I, I like, newly ones I've subscribed to, uh, Girlfriend Reviews. Oh, I love that. The Smash Bros. Oh, yeah, one yeah, was yeah, so yeah. funny. Yeah, that one's um, a good one. There's that one. What else did I subscribe to this this year? Um, Donkey? No, but he's, I've subscribed to him like, way before. I think I. 2017? Probably. I don't think so. Before that. Nani? <laughs> Nani? <laughs> Oh, niggity. Um, shoot, who else did I? I'm trying to think. Of I watched oh, Vox. Gl- the Glitter Bomb prank. That was cool. And I subscribed to him after watching that. There you go. So he's one of them. Uh, Vox. Um, they did They did one. They did a brand new one that I haven't seen yet called. Um, shoot, it was something about becoming viral, I think, or something mm. like that. Okay. I don't remember. I need to watch it. But they're changing their subscription too. They have a four ninety nine uh, Vox subscription, and so obviously you're you're paying to help them, and then you're you get content, all the background stuff that they did to make these videos, um, all the research they did and stuff. So it's pretty cool. I haven't subscribed to her, but I have to subscribe to Jenna Marbles because she's been making really funny. Co- she's really hilarious. I. Her older stuff, I don't think, was appealing to me, but damn, dude, she's improved. I've enjoyed, uh, I was going to say, The Last Bosses. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, fuck, I just had it. Comic Book Girl. Oh, yeah. She's changed a lot of her stuff. She's become more of a streamer now than, oh. a, than a YouTuber because uh, she's funny. like, YouTube has not been, oh, because of Adpocalypse and yeah. stuff, and she's like, at least that's what she shared. So she's evolved, and she's done a lot of things where it's through her Patreon and then also through streaming. But her streaming is very much, like, live now. And she's, like, sitting where it's, like, three people. Uh, on Twitch? T- yeah, on Twitch. And uh, sh- and then she'll post the recorded version of that section session uh, on YouTube for later. But uh, the cool thing was, like, um, I just like how she's evolved. Like, every time something hits her hard, she just changes it up, changes it up. And it's working. Like, she's... Killing it with this streaming thing. It's not the same production value she had when she was doing edited content, right, right. but it's the drawback of having to evolve and change yeah. a little bit. So I, I appreciate that. I'll count the girlfriend review is really funny. Um, She's the newest thing I can remember. I know I've subscribed to a few other people, but I just can't remember. Most of the other stuff for me is just like big name stuff. Kotaku actually started their own little like. 15 minute like conversation it's like what do you appreciate about controller buttons and it's like three or four of them just talking for 10 or 15 minutes about that or why is smash bros intimidating to you or whatever <laughs> like it's just like one topic st- and it's inspiring Very sometimes because yeah. i'm like oh it's good questions and but i wish they talked more about it or they got more points of views so yeah the one question they need to ask why isn't <laughs> the daniels watching street <laughs> i don't know <laughs> Don't know what you Biggest said. flop of the year, movie pass. <laughs> ready, ready? <laughs> not, not on my book, but ready player. I'm just one. saying it it rose, and I loved it when it rose, but I it couldn't stay, so it just it's dropped. It's funny, like I feel like it was like I a guess giant, you're right. Well, for me specifically, it was like a giant wave. Yeah, and I literally grabbed it at the perfect time and yeah. rode that sucker to yeah. the fucking no, I, end, dude. I gotta say, I watched a lot more movies this year because of it. Yeah. I'm gl- I enjoyed it. I didn't really like. And immediately suffer. canceling it, I immediately stopped watching a lot of movies this year as well. <laughs> I also think the the movies that were coming out late in the year weren't as appealing f- to watch. Thought, but or maybe like, the year got busy. I thought you stopped watching movies because of Graveyard Fireflies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was around that time though. Um, coincidence. I I think actually I I literally around that time I I canceled it as well like yeah. that same week, um, but. I don't know, like Movie Pass. Obviously, the 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 quality of movies didn't matter if I had Movie Pass. I would watch like at least one movie regardless of what it was. Um, with canceling it now, I don't know. Like it's just like 
I have to pay for that movie now, and like it just felt different. So there's there was movies that still came out that I was like, I really want to watch this one, and I just never ended up like really just leaving the house to go watch it. I know it's still chains, but I I like supporting my local theaters just because a theater is a, is like they're dying. Like well, I gotta say, when I signed into the Spider Verse, it was not packed. Yeah, and it was opening night Friday, and I was like, this is gonna be a madhouse. Yeah, and it was not at all, and I'm like, whoa. Movies like it's people. It, it's it's hard to sustain with how many movies are coming mm-hmm. out and how many different ways you could watch them and all this crazy shit. So interesting stuff. Crazy times. Um, I think it's a good note to end yeah. On. I think we covered a lot of bases, a lot of best ofs, a lot of Christmas ideas and and copywritten content. Oh shit, Rubana Gato Rubana. We're 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 copywriting. S- Season two, the word season two, <laughs> and Stranger Things. So the word Stranger. Stranger. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Thank everyone for uh, joining us. Thanks guys for for hosting again with me. Uh, episode ninety eight degrees. In the books. Wait. So the next episode we record comes out next year. No. 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 E- Cri- mm. Christmas Eve. Give me a sec. No. This episode comes out Christmas. This Eve. This episode comes out Christmas Eve. The next episode comes out the thirty first. Mm. Oh yeah. Happy so so New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve is when it pops up, and then so you got one more. So ninety nine is gonna be the last one of of twenty eight. Damn, what impeccable timing! One hundred is gonna be the first one of twenty nineteen. Is it cold in here? <laughs> I feel like a Stranger Things review just <laughs> come up. Two Stranger Things two. <laughs> 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 uh, hey, I watched Daredevil almost all in hey, fucking two days. That's Stranger Things. That's <laughs> double the time of Stranger <laughs> Things. What I have left in Stranger Things. Just dude. finish it. It's five episodes. Five hours. God. Okay, where d- where can they find you? <laughs> they can find me at the Folio three sixty five on Instagram and the Folio everywhere else. We all flown down here at the Last Bosses. Find me at Future Prime. You can find us all at the Weekly DLC. Please chime in. Let us know what you think. If you have any thoughts on any of our picks and topics. What were your highlights of 2018? Mm -hmm. And um, until next time, we'll... DLC. You later.